Hi, this is Margaret with Noble Desktop, and today we will be learning time remapping in Premiere Pro. Make sure that you have all of these items checked in your wrench tool before you start working. Time remapping is the ability to have speed decelerate and accelerate as you see fit. You're able to manipulate the way something speeds up and slows down. Just as a reminder, if I were to click on this clip and say Command R and then 300, that's just one speed. There's no variation in that speed. Command Z. Time remapping allows you to create variations in your speed. To get to the time remapping function, you can control click on any clip and say, Show Clip Keyframes Time Remapping Speed. You can also go to the Tiny Effects item in the corner of every one of your clips and say Time Remapping Speed. So now we have a time remapping line. You might remember the opacity line takes away the image entirely. This is not an opacity line. You can see it's in the middle of the clip. This is a time remapping line. The opacity line no longer exists on your clip. So let's determine what areas we want to use time remapping on. I'm going to start right at the beginning. And to, to use time remapping, you are using the pen tool. P for pen, or click on this item right here. And you're determining, just as you would if adjusting volume or opacity levels, where you'd like to start and where you would like to stop. I'm going to just stay right here, this area. From here to here, I'd like there to be an acceleration. Now, it's very important after you've created your two points or more, if you'd like, in time remapping, you leave the pen tool and go back to the selector tool. Time remapping does not work if you're in the pen tool. So if I want to go fast, I boost, I go up. I take the space between that and just lift up. Let's take a look at that. I want it to go even faster. Now, over here, you have these two items up top. And what these are allowing me to do is create ramping. So I could have this gradually go back to normal speed by ramping the speed. When he lands, it's less abrupt. Now, let's say that here, I'd like this to be slow motion for the pen tool here. Now, when I wanted something to go fast, I lift it up. When I want something to go slow, I pull down. Go back to your selector tool. So the space between your two points, if I move this down, the clip got longer because it's slower. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so you could also ramp that a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. A little bit of energy, and then maybe a lot of energy when he's landing. Okay, let's make something go backwards in time remapping. Open up our time remapping option here. I'm going to make two points. Go back to V, the selector tool. On the first point, I'm going to hold on the command key and pull out. You might notice those little arrows. That indicates it's going to go backwards, like so. And then it repeats itself. Right here, we have a new set of keyframes. And that new set of keyframes is this clip as it was before, not backwards. It's a funny quirk in Premiere that it doesn't allow you to just go backwards. It goes backwards and then it shows the clip as it originally was forward. Let me move one over. Okay. So time remapping can be approached here in your effects control panel. Here's my pen point. I'm gonna move this up to make this faster here. You can see what it just did on the, the thing here. We're going to go backwards. Maybe this one I'll also make backwards. Command, pull, 
you, you would do the same things here as you would essentially on your timeline. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson in timely mapping in Premiere Pro. This has been Margaret with Noble Desktop.